In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SharePoint destination within Task Factory from Pragmatic Works. I've done a little setup here. Uh, I have a data flow task already. Um, I have a flat file source where I'm pulling data from, and we can look at that. We can preview it. We can see that I have a couple of tasks here uh, that I want to insert in, or, sorry, a couple of rows of data. Uh, that I want to insert into a list in SharePoint and I've already set up my SharePoint destination uh, but to go back a little bit what I've done is I've selected a uh, connection manager if you don't have a connection manager you can click on create new SharePoint connection and go in here and fill out all this data uh, if you need to use a proxy you can use that there uh, and when you're all finished filling up your, your data, you can click on Test Connection. If it succeeds, you're good to go. If not, then it will tell you what the issue is. Uh, okay, so I already have one here. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to select a list. Uh, you can see here I've already selected my bugs list because I'm inserting bugs into my list on the SharePoint. Uh, and finally, what you want to do is you want to select an action. In this case, what I have uh, here is I have three actions. I can create rows, I can update rows, or I can delete, delete rows on my list. Uh, in this case I'm going to create a couple of rows. Uh, so you can see here that I have uh, all of my, my column mappings here and I'm only going to use one column right now and that is I'm going to match the title from my input to the, uh, let's go back and change this. And we'll, we'll go ahead and match both of these here. I don't think I have a comment section, uh, but I'll just go ahead and make it something else here. We'll just change this to author. And we'll click OK. Um, if you decide to change this action to something else, for instance, update, you'll see that you will get another row, and that is ID. And you have to match or map the ID column uh, of that list that you're trying to uh, update. If you're going to delete, you'll see that the only row that you have is the ID column here. And so, again, you have to map that. Uh, in this case, I'm just doing the, the create. I just want to make sure I didn't mess anything up here. And I didn't, so we're good to go here. And you can see anything that's mapped always highlights in green. And we click OK. And so what I want to do is I want to execute this. And my machine decides to run a little slow today. There we go. And we can see here that two rows were sent to my SharePoint destination. And so uh, when I open up my, my SharePoint server, I should see two new tasks, uh, sorry, two new rows in my list uh, that look similar to this right here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use the SharePoint destination within Task Factory from Pragmatic Works.